Good day everybody, this is Pillar from Tales Productions and welcome back to Star Trek Online and this playthrough of a Romulan character, a Romulan science officer and a completely free to play account. Now, there has been a bit of a break which I apologise for, I've been away for around a week now due to illness, so you may have missed a couple of days worth of videos, I apologise, we're back up with this one though and as you can see, I have not been lazy, we've progressed quite a bit. Now I did say I was going to go through the Nimbus storyline, which is the Wasteland, um, and get through all the way to the last one because Installation 18, Installation 18 actually has some interesting story mechanics. So we're obviously keeping that and we're going to do that today. And all the others I have done, including a lot of the sort of rare spawns that are down there as well, did a few of those. Basically just anything that I saw that I could do along the way I did as well. Um, just normal leveling stuff, nothing too intense. Uh, but I did get them all done, and it gave me a lot of levels. I'm now Commander 30. I'm 30. So, I got a new ship, as you can see. A Dederodex, I think it's pronounced. Class Warbird. And this is like the iconic Romulan ship, right? This is the one that everybody wants. And I thought it would be much later on. I thought it would be uh, maybe a level 50, possibly 40, I don't know. Basically, an end game sort of ship, rather than... Um, a middle of the road one and level 30 seems like middle of the road to me but fine i've got it i wonder if so what do we get next well at level 40 we obviously get a new ship and then level 50 you get permission to buy the next rank of ship so on it does surprise me a little bit that the dederodex isn't the um the final end all one but obviously it's probably upgraded versions of it are still available that kind of thing but hey i love it i think it's beautiful i've gone for the slightly darker color again don't know why i just prefer it like the way it looks i think it's a brownish yeah there you go you can see it much better here with the lighting um i've also moved over a bunch of equipment and bought some new equipment as well i believe can't remember but it's a very similar setup to what i had before obviously these are really old still just mark three mark four nothing special there um, and a couple of turrets on the back there you go that is my current build um after a week away and a few missions done that's all we've got. But look at it, it's so beautiful. All right, so now I'm ready to do installation 18. I'm in position, ready to do it. So let's just get on with it. And it's not voiced. I actually, I had a comment on YouTube the other day. I'm pretty sure it was a meme or a troll, whatever you want to say. But I had a comment from somebody saying that the whole game is actually voiced. It's just very buggy, so sometimes the voicing doesn't happen. I don't think it's true. I'd love to believe it's true. I don't think it is. I think some of it just isn't voiced, so my frustrations are correct. And if it is the other way around, that it is all voiced but just a bit buggy, then that's a little bit upsetting, I'd say. But either way, let's read through. Everything points to the communications array as the hub of Tal Shiar activity on Nimbus 3. There have also been reports of disappearances in the vicinity, and they have to be related. The Tal Shiar have been taking people from all over. Makes sense that they're doing it here too. It's time to find out what's going on inside that comm array. Get ready, Commander. I don't think this is going to be easy. I think you're wrong. It's going to be very easy, but it's going to be cool still. Oh yes! I forgot that. You get the pirate distress call. That's really good. Nice. Okay. Did you need something? Let's get into it. I can just enter the Nimbus system and go straight straight down to Nimbus three. I do have to run over to the um, the Comaray. I will meet you there. Um, and with my week away, actually, I should say I have also upgraded my PC. Did I mention I upgraded my PC? Maybe not. Possibly not. But. I did upgrade my PC. It's a massive upgrade as well. So I've got all the settings here on high or ultra now. Um, and uh, the loading should just generally be much quicker. Um, I've got it on a SSD now. So everything should be much, much better. I'm hoping it fixes all the crashing that we used to get. I, I haven't seen this. It looks, it looks really good, actually. I like it. You can see some distortion in the characters. I wonder if that's just the game or my settings. I don't know. I'll have a look. But I'm going to head over to Installation 18. It's somewhere over here. I will meet you there. All right, so here we are. This is Installation 18. Um, I've already done a quest around here that sort of clears out the area. That was the last one. So I'm pretty sure now I just go in. Entree. It's 
Doctor. This facility could be the key to understanding understanding what the Tal Shiar are doing on this planet. This is about more than the Thaleron Thaleron triggers. If it wasn't, they would have left once they learned the triggers were gone. We need to get inside and find out what their real goals are. Alright? Any ideas what or any ideas of where we go from here? Any idea? Any ideas of where Any ideas where to go? That's weird phrasing. This looks like an elevator. <laughs> Good job. So my guess is that we head down. If the Tal Shiar are going through this much trouble to hide and isolate this facility, it's a sure bet that they'll be guarding it. As soon as the Tal Shiar know we're here, we'll be fighting for our lives. A stealth approach would be best, and if any alarms trigger, we need to deal with them quickly. Alright, let's do it. Activate Elevator. Now obviously, like I said, I'm on a new PC here, so I do apologise if anything comes up that I need to change. Like, I haven't really experienced any sound effects yet, so I might need to adjust volumes. Please let me know what you think. Wow, that's bright. Nice. I can't remember all this. This is nice. You're not allowed in here. Stop me. I do have abilities and stuff to use. I'm, I'm obviously... Just testing out a couple of weapons right now. I've leveled up a couple of times before or since doing any ground combat, so I'd like to just test out how strong my bridge officers are and myself. Might as well pick that up. We're right here. Oh. Was I meant to stop that? I can't remember now. Nice. I remember now how strong that combo is. Could this not be auto looting? Oh, my inventory's full, that's why. Okay, let me just very quickly sell that. That'll do. I am going to need to, um, obviously, do some more selling, but that will do for now. I do have auto loot on, that's good. Oh man. Alright, let's go. I can already feel the game's a little bit smoother. Maybe it's just a placebo. Might be wrong. I get in here? Hmm. You'll also notice I haven't changed my uniform back. I'm, I'm sticking with the Tal Shiar look. I really quite like it. Although now it's got a weird shine to it. But generally it's good. Yes, seem to be jumping about a bit. I'm not sure if that's just the game, camera mechanics of the game. Here we go. Finally allowed in somewhere. There we go, right. I can disable the alarm now. Did I get it? I did. I didn't think I could disable the one in the other room. Maybe I was wrong. Maybe I just didn't click the right button. Alright. I think I need to head back that way. Seems weird that I couldn't get in that room. Can't disable that. Yeah, it's weird that I can't get in here. Hmm. Alright, maybe that comes later. I should remember, I have done this before. 
on another playthrough. Alright, let's go in here. Maybe it unlocks that other room. Oh, maybe not. Weird. Okay, I've obviously missed something. Let's head back to the start. I think I'm just gonna have to restart the, the mission. There's nowhere to go. It must just be something to be to do with me messing up the alarms earlier, right? Right. Begin installation eighteen. We know that bit. Oh, this is bright. Looks like we've infiltrated installation 18. Except for that guy. Oh, okay. I messed up the alarm thing earlier, so. Oh, there you go. Okay. So it is because I missed that. Interesting. Wow. It'll be nice if it actually failed the mission then, if it said that it was failed. Interesting. Alright. I don't know all the data, Commander, but the Tao Shiar seem to be conducting experiments here. We should investigate. Any proof we can get of the Tao Shiar wrongdoing is valuable. Of course. I'll take a look. Oh yeah, investigate sealed rooms. So these are the ones that you can hear some horrible things coming out of. That doesn't look so bad. Kind of. The test subjects are reacting well to the indoctrination procedures. Oh, some shaking there. Unnecessary shakage. We had a few casualties, as we expected. But those that survived should be able to start phase three by the end of the week. Nice. <laughs> They're forcing people to fight. Oh. No. Oh, maybe there's a, a bigger audio cue for that, but because I've had to fiddle with the settings, I'm not hearing it. But it's just a, a minor alarm in the background. Proceed carefully. This patient hasn't responded well to the treatments. Watch those levels! It's going critical! Ooh. What did we just see? Are the Taoshi are experimenting on people? What could they possibly hope to accomplish with these atrocities? We need to press forward to find out. It's time for answers. Alright, try got a reading say the room up ahead is a laboratory. We should take a look. We might find out more about what's going on here. Alright. So obviously, me being... From the future, I know who those or what those things are, having played through some other campaigns. But obviously, it means a bit more to a Romulan officer, which is really cool. Hello? Oh, this is a good point, actually. I remember being in here with my other characters and not knowing who these are. Maybe these mean more to me or to a Romulan. Let's try it out. 
Who who are you? Are you here to hurt me again? Please, please, I'll tell you anything. Just tell me what you want. Alright, calm down. Tell me what they've done to you. Oh no, I've done it again, haven't I? Where's the alarm? There you go. Wait, stop it. Alright, just keep remembering to stop the alarms. Alright, it was you. Yeah, calm down again. There were lights and voices, voices in my head. They were thoughts, but they weren't mine, all right? That wasn't the worst of it. They hurt me, cut me. One time they amputated my hand and two days later they put it back. Wow. There were procedures and I was awake. I could feel everything. I think they were doing some sort of test, but I don't know what they were for. I just went out of here, all right? We'll send you someplace safe. So I think I remember picking up on this being the same as uh, an episode of The Next Generation quite early on. A lot of no's. Make it stop, make it stop. We had help, we won't hurt you. Ah, ah, ah. They come in the night. I woke up and one of them was standing over my bed. How did it get in my room? What does it want? All right, let's get you out. But none of this is extra meaningful to a science officer so far. I remember there being a named one though. Oh, there you go. Yeah, this makes sense. Rena, you're not Tal Shiar, are you? Are you here to take me home? Yes. My name is Rita. Surely Tovan will have stepped up by now. This is Tovan's sister, right? I was working on a freighter, the Usa Ken. We haul anything that we can make some latinum with. We had an offer to take a load of tecosite to Gasco Station. Oh yeah, we've been there. My captain didn't like it. We'd heard that there was trouble in that area, but we needed the work. So, you know, the Telshiar were waiting for us. Captain Saar let them aboard. Said they could inspect our cargo and manifest, but they, they killed him and they started shooting everyone else. I didn't know what they kept, why they kept me alive, but they kept asking me questions about terrorists and the Republic and my brother. Wow, is this the same conversation that I will have had with Rena without even knowing who her brother was? That's really cool. Um, they say he did such awful things that he smuggled weapons and killed people, but I know him. I, kn I know none of it's true. They're the ones who are evil. Rena, don't you remember? Yes, Teleth, right? You're Tovan's friend. Is Tovan still with you? Oh, come on. He would have said something. Can you take me to him? Yeah, I'll let you have a moment before we continue Rena. On. It's true. How did you find me? I've been searching for you everywhere. You hadn't sent a message in weeks, and I I knew something was wrong. Then I started tracking the Usa Ken, and I couldn't find any trace of it. I almost lost hope, but... Aww. I knew you couldn't have done those terrible, terrible things, and I knew you'd find me. You're my big brother, Tovan. You took care of me after the homeworld was destroyed. After father. I, I don't know what happens next, but I know I don't want to lose you again. You won't, Rena. You Rena. won't. The tall Shi'ar can't hurt you anymore. And they'll pay. They'll pay for everything they did to you. Well, I'm sorry to break up this reunion, but we need to continue on. She's gone, lovely. Are there any more named people? There's another guy over here. We might as well check him out. Slamek. Do I recognize that name? The light, it hurts my eyes. Can you turn down, please? What happened? I was in a shuttle, there were Telshiar attacking my colony, there was a blinding light, and a noise that vibrated the cabin like it was coming apart. Then there was blackness. I woke up here. They keep asking me questions, questions about things I don't know. Why didn't they just let me die? Did we meet on Craterus? <gasps> yes, I remember you now. Do you know what happened to Zuden and the others? Hell no. I want to find them if I can. I know the location of Obisek's base. I'll find him, tell him what I know, maybe I can... Well, I don't know. These lights, they make it hard to think. I need to be someplace quiet, someplace dark. Oh, so that's him. Interesting, okay. So I think we need to get that per to get the person responsible for this madness here so we can confront him, all right? There's a communication center in this facility. I'm sure the operatives were in regular contact with Hakiv. If we send some false messages, perhaps we can convince him to make an appearance. Uh, yes, agreed. I don't know why it said it twice, but okay. So I'm not sure where they come, came from. Maybe that was just a, a spawn after you speak to the last person or something? Not sure. Oh, hello. Don't forget the alarm. Every time you fight, check for an alarm. My one golden rule for now. Alright, communication centre in here apparently. 
Hey, I cleared this room last time I was looking around. Hey guys. I meant to cast that on the medic. Right, access rights, read only. Please make a selection from the following menu. Okay. View message, yeah, let's do that. The Colonel Hakiv from an operative, the San of the Orion Syndicate was in possession of Thaleron trigger devices, but I was unable to procure them. Come chatter and inter interrogations of some of San's workers have revealed that the triggers were purchased by a splinter group of Remans. <gasps> I have analysed all traffic in and out of the Nimbus system, and a Reman vessel fled during the attempted raid by Hassan's fleet. All indications are that the triggers are off planet now. All right, yeah. View message installation 18 project parameters. Yeah, from Colonel Hakeev, right? So establish a base, find and acquire Thalon triggers, believed to be blah blah blah. Keeping vital components of building these weapons off the open market is a continuing goal of the South Shiar. Prisoners of value will be sent to Installation 18, combining Alachi interrogation and mind control techniques with our holographic conditioning. Has proven to be very successful in test cases. That research will continue at Installation 18. Several Alachi will be at the facility to facilitate this research. Prisoners who successfully resist combined conditioning will be given to the Alachi for their use. Take control of supply lines on Nimbus 3, currently being run by the Orion Syndicate, which they're doing. Okay. Awesome. Change access rights. Ooh. To access administrative functions, please enter password now. Admin read write access. What? I assume this uh, was given as a clue somewhere, and my just guessing here is also going to work okay. <laughs> Alright then. But can I open for editing? The sign of the Orion Syndicate was in possession, I was able to procure them. Triggers were purchased for a modest fee and are ready for pickups from some of Hassan's workers located in the Nimbus system. All indications that the triggers are in good condition. Awesome. So I'm trying to get Hakiv to come here, basically, so I can capture him. New life signs dead ahead, and they match the aliens we've been seeing since the attack on Vivranat. We know they're working with the Tao Shiar. Now could be our chance to capture one for questioning. Okay, let's give it a try. Now we get to fight one of them, right? So, oh, okay, the I Iconian device is in here. What's this? Alright, let's do that. Oh, wow. I didn't even see myself take all that damage. I think the um, top, the grenade, sorry, must have crit. Somebody come heal me. For real, for real. Come on now. Thanks, buddy. Nice, okay. And this is an Alachi Beta. Yeah, I remember that being quite difficult actually, so I don't know why I just ran right in here thinking it'll be fine. Alright, let's do the Iconian first, download Iconian data. We know Hakiv has a connection to the Iconians, but I don't quite understand how his persecution of the Remans fits into his plans yet. Obasek could have something he needs, or it could simply be his maniacal obsession to control everything and everyone around him. 
Either way, he's been a thorn in our sides for too long now. It's time to end this. Cool. So I guess I wasn't supposed to do the Iconia stuff first. <laughs> now we have you. If you want to get out of here alive, you'll answer our questions. Let's start with something simple. Who? Stop him! Wow. I remember that, yeah. I remember being a bit shocked the first time. So that thing decided to kill itself rather than answer any of our questions. Why would it do that? I wish we could have learned more, but it looks like your plan worked. The RRW McGonagall, <laughs> that's my ship by the way, reports that an entire Tashiar fleet has arrived in orbit in response to the message we sent earlier. Good. Let's go. There we go. So we're being held by the flagship of the Telshaw fleet. I should have known you would be involved with this. I would tell you to stop meddling in affairs that you cannot understand. But if you've proven anything so far, it's that once you're set on a path, you blunder through, heedless of the consequences. Besides, you still owe me a ship. <laughs> and an eye. I think I'm going to hail from our new friends. Good fight. I'm sure you wanted to turn a blind eye to a little salvage operation, aren't you? Yeah. And Hakiv is a stain on our people's honor. We won't be safe until he's dead. From Nadell, obviously. We knew you were coming in. This fight no longer interests me. <laughs> what a surprise. Now that you've met my new allies, the Alachi, you understand just how precarious your position is. Run while you can. But you're running. Right now. All right, let's see. I want to try. Uh, I'll just take out my guy heavy warbird. Let's see how quickly I can do it. Nice. That is some serious damage. Now I'm right next to. Warp core explosion. That's fine. Handled it. Like a boss. Oh lordy, I'm dead. Yeah. <laughs> Alright, so I knew it was coming, but I'd forgotten my hotkeys for some of my abilities. That's my excuse. I'm sticking with it. The ship is super strong though. There's no argument with that. Ow, ow, ow. Turn around. Turn around more. Turn around a million. Stop it! Stop it! Oh, one percent! The one percent dream! Wow. Okay, I did just get away. <laughs> that worked out really well! I did manage to kill one of the Dideridex battlecruisers before I had to run away. There we go, nice and easy. I only died once and very nearly a second time. Nice and easy. We can't be lucky enough to have killed him this time, can we? Still, Ren is alive and she's here. That's more than I could have asked for. I suggest we head back to the surface and wrap things up, sir. Then we can take her back to the flotilla where she'll be safe. Hmm. Alright, let's do it. And this should be it, I guess. Hey there, friend. Have you heard the news? What's been going on around here? 
I've been hearing strange reports that something major went down at the satellite array in the desert. Did you have anything to do with that? Well, yeah. Heard a Telshiar boss man showed up in response. Well, yeah. I heard that Hakiv fella you Republic types have been looking for showed up. Well, yeah. Well, you sure do know how to get things done. People had their doubts about you, Commander, but you showed them. The sand's gone, the corn have been put in their place, and now the Telshiar too. This keeps up... At and Nimbus will be a right nice place to live. A right nice place to live. Now, if you'll excuse me, I've got some latinum to collect from two of eight. I've been betting on you the entire time. If Aww. you need it, I've got it. What a lovely man. All right. So I can now hail new Romulus for, to actually complete that mission. I knew the Telshiar were bad, but mind control, alien experiments? Who knows what else they were doing to those poor people? We knew all that anyway before. That's not new now. You'll actually have to be stopped, and we're the ones to do it. And tell your friend Tovan not to worry about his sister. She's already on her way to New Romulus. For some rest and recuperation, she'll be safe there. Good work, Commander. Ah. Oh. Alright then. Which one of these do I want? Oh, it's not a matter of choosing, is it? Only usable boy warbirds. There you Did go. You Congratulations, Commander. Nice, and another level, just what I need. Let's beam up. And out into space. So beautiful. And there we go. So that was Installation 18 and the end of the Wasteland series. Obviously all that I've shown of that is Installation 18 because it had a little bit of showing of the, uh, the Romulan story. Um, and we're going to be moving on to Vengeance in the next episode. Now... Obviously, I will have edited this video quite a bit for you guys because there's been quite a few problems with uh, my new PC build, um, the new streaming setup that I've got here. So um, please forgive the editing and bear with me while uh, there might be a few days without some videos on the channel just while I get it all sorted out. But thank you very much for watching. I hope you enjoyed. Hope you are enjoying. Hope you will enjoy. But by far, the most important thing is to look forward to the next episode, Star Trek Online.